Mark, why do I have this thing in my hand? Oh. Oh. Mark! Fuck! Uh, no! Oh, no! Uh, so, something fucked up with the recording, kids. So, we're gonna just redo- we, we beat the game, by the way. I love that. Anyway, um... <laughs> so, what had happened was, Tim went to edit the finale of Kirby. Oh, it's in the water. Okay. It's like a little watermelon island. Yes. Alright, so Tim went to edit Kirby one day, and what had happened was, there was no audio of Tim or Mark. So, instead of just, like... Doing the recording over what we had, like audio shit. We're just gonna replay the levels because Kirby's fun. Yeah, and which we've done it before, like post commentated over stuff. Yeah. But just, just like X Men back in the day. And uh, other Kirby series when something happened and Tim lost audio. Did that happen in Kirby? Mm hmm. Well, whatever. Let's go beat up Wispy. Yeah, I'm gonna beat up. I hope it shows the cutscene when we beat the story. If not, we could just uh, we could just commentate over it. Yeah, like I, throw I, up a clip from YouTube or some shit. Yeah, I'll find it. I well, I had the old video, video footage. Oh, true facts, true facts. Okay, true facts. Woo! Come on, Morgan Freeman. True facts about the bussy. Oh, yeah. Every girl and boy has a bussy. It is the buck pussy. Wait, I is... thought bussy was boy pussy. Shut the fuck up. You've been telling me bussy was boy pussy all the no, time. No, I haven't. Yes, you have. No, that's what the gay community says bussy is. They call it boy pussy, and I'm like, no, it's butt pussy, and it's your fucking butthole. Everyone has a bussy. j Rod was trying to tell me that I stole that from the gays, I'm like, I've been saying bussy my whole life. Come here, you bitch. Mark, how dare you use me as a weapon? And in effect, as like that, I'll show you how to be more effective weapon, see? Thanks, fucker. You're welcome. I'm glad to help. Best friends play together. <laughs> oh my god. It's the Super Best Friends theme is the Kirby, this Kirby theme, and I can never hear it without thinking of them. It's so funny. So how much of this stuff have they taken from other things? Oh, everything. <laughs> they said everything we've ever done is stolen. <laughs> so like, our mascot character, the Baz, is a fucking rejected Street Fighter character from a concept book. <laughs> Like, their theme is Kirby, their format stolen from god knows how many Let's Players. <laughs> They're like, we're just a bunch of fucking thieves. The only reason, um, the, the chain even started is because Matt, uh, g gained enough of, a uh, notoriety and some, like, money and stuff from his, uh, like, ex-cartoon stupidity videos, like Street Fighter Stupidity or Darkstalker Stupidity. And that's how the Switcher started up and fucking started their channel. And he took a, he took a risk. And through Machinima, they, they had a, like, legit channel. But it's just great. Like, everything's fucking, uh... Like, everything, everything's, like, fucking cray-cray, dude. And it's also so great, like, watching, like, Two Snacks was their original artist, and he still works with them, and he's grown so much as an artist. I love Two Snacks. He does the two uh, best sisters play, where where it's the audio from two best friends, but it's uh, Celestia and Luna from My Little Pony. Oh, I've seen that. I've seen the Persona one. Yes. <laughs> Kimpachi Ramasama, why didn't you finish your math homework? I don't know, but I had to eat a piece of toast and become a Sailor Scout. Ronin, Ronin Warriors! <laughs> See, I, I, I love I, Matt so much. I would, I would be great friends with Matt. I'm so mad, so at Comic-Con, when I was still a mania, I was like, I really hope I run into the best friends because they fucking mark out over um over my goddamn still a mania outfit. But I was like, I was like, ah, oh, like I didn't run into them, and I'm like, I guess they didn't come because I would have heard something online. And I found out the next week that they were at, and they put on Twitter where they were. Fans wanted to hang out with them and stuff, and I was so fucking sad. So I'm gonna have to catch them this year because I, I really just want to meet Matt, like. I, I'll, I'll meet Wooly too, and Pat doesn't really go to cons. Uh, I mean, is the, Wooly the black guy? Yeah, Wooly's the black guy. Okay. Wooly's Wooly's great, and he's grown on me through the years. He was the first addition they had, and then they added Liam, but then it got too stressful for Liam's life, so he quit. But he still like those streams and stuff, and Liam was all right. Like he's, I was, he should need to take a step away from it. Yeah, and I was never a huge fan of Liam, so it's not like a big loss for me. But like, I, you know, you never really want to see someone go. And and here's the thing, like. I didn't like when Matt and Liam played together. And I didn't like 
Did you feel like they were too much of the same personality? Type? No, uh, Matt likes Liam a lot, and Liam, like, like, kind of looks up to Matt a little bit, so, like, it's a weird dynamic I don't really find funny or entertaining, because they're just too compatible, and, like, no one calls each other out on their bullshit too much. Um, it's like... But, like, uh, and Liam and Wooly I didn't really like, because it's, like, secondary character show, you know? <laughs> like, <laughs> yeah, which is harsh, but, you know, whatever. But Liam and Pat, for some odd reason, is phenomenal. And then I came to the realization, anything with Pat is phenomenal. I love Pat. He's the best. He just had that type of personality that Jill with everyone. Yeah, well, no. Well, Pat has the personality where, <laughs> where, he, where he, dynam- just, he has, he has dynam- a great dynamic with everyone. That's, that's more so like Matt. Yeah. Tim's bad at wording sometimes. Yeah, no. I'm, oh, oh, if I teabag it, it goes down? Oh, it was just coincidence. How yeah, strange. Yeah, I don't want to just talk about the best friends during this whole episode, so I'll stop it. Okay. But, uh... He's probably the best. Uh, oh my god. He's got fucking uh, uh, Oh, I'm sorry about that, kids. Look, it's the bear. It's the bear who's like, oh, I'm just thinking about blue. No! Fucking, you waste of space. Fucking what up, dude? I was talking to you. It wasn't me, it was he. <laughs> don't you talk to me. That way about he. I don't know this level at all. It was a while ago. It was a while ago. It was, it was done after playing Bloodborne one day. Yeah, so. Oh, I can't fucking parachute when I hold something? I guess that makes sense. What? <laughs> oh, yeah, because it goes out of my feet. I guess I'm just stupid and I messed up somehow. It's completely possible. I mean, I'm stupid and my shit up all the time. Yeah. Like that. The new Kirby game is great, and I want to play it with you, but like, I don't want to play it, like, I I only want to play it with you if we also have Dave and Sean, and I know that's ludicrous to ask for at this point in my life, because, you know, Dave's a married man and Sean lives in Wisconsin, <laughs> but like, if we could somehow make it, it doesn't happen. feel right if we like did it with like Vinny and Cassie or something, you know? You know, I know what you mean, it's not the same team dynamic. Yeah, you know, like, and also it's like we had like, but eventually we'll have to replace them, which is the worst part. I mean, maybe we could get Dave, like, because y- you could cr- you could blast through that game pretty fast, and you know, like even if we just get Dave for like a couple days and stuff, like he has time. And, you maybe know, we get Sean to come down for a weekend and I, both and do the whole fucking game. Yes. Oh, I mean, I guess. I don't, think Sean, I don't think Sean would be opposed to this. Like I don't that. think he would either, and I, I think... Oh, fucking Gordos! I think Dave would be alright with it. Fucking Gordon and Sean, right? Okay, you get that, I'm going in. Yeah, bitch. <laughs> Do you know who Gordon Sean is? I know who that is. Have you ever seen Al? Yeah. That's Al's real name. Like, the character or the actor? The character. Gordon, Gordon. Al's, Alf's real name is Gordon Shumway. Shum- Gordon Shumway, yes. I never knew that. That's so weird. But like, don't they call him Alf in the Alf cartoon show? No. Oh. oh, they call him Gordon? Yeah. Do they ever call him Gordon in the live action show? No. Because they know him as Alf. Because he's an alien life form. I think it was a while before, like, he actually revealed to them like, Gordon was a real name. But, like, he does say that in the, in the live action show. Yes, he does say it. His, uh, group, his real name is Gordon Shumway. Also, I think the Alf cartoon of- is dark as shit because it ends with his planet blowing up and everyone dying but him, where he goes to an earth of humans who hate him and won't let him eat cats. They are mean to Alf. They are mean to Alf because Alf wrecks everything, though. Alf is doing his best. Alf told them how to power cars with phlegm. I remember that from an episode. Also, um, Alf, um, have you ever seen the, um, the intro for the Alf cartoon? It literally goes, Warden, send this into outer space, because there ain't nobody like in the moment that he raised. They say his name multiple times. Yeah, that's that's crazy. crazy. I just know that cartoon Alf was in. Also, there was singing cats in the original show. But he ate cats. I know. One of the lies was, Mount Mackey's no place for cats. Well, that's fair. Alpha, uh, I know Alpha was in Cartoon All Stars. Uh, say no to drugs. He, he is. How did they manage to make that happen? It's so weird. We're like Bugs Bunny's, like, is that a joint? Don't smoke pot, kids. 
as, of... as he munches on his cigar like <laughs> fucking carrot. Have you seen the memes of like it's apparently like a oh, Marvel Infinity War is the most ambitious crossover event ever, and someone just posts a picture of something else. Yeah. And like one of the pictures was of that. That's funny. I want to know where did that meme start? Where someone actually thought that was the most ambitious crossover event to take place? Uh, well, no, because like a, a lot of the marketing says that they're like the most ambitious crossover event in cinema history. What crossover event is going on? I need to know this. Marvel, wow, Marvel crossover, Marvel, Mark. Oh shit. Well, the fact that, like, you're gonna see Doctor Strange, Star-Lord, and, like, Iron Man and Spider-Man all hanging out together, like, even in comics that's kind of surreal. Like, those characters don't hang no, out. No, and, and that's true, so, like, but at the same time... Yeah, like, these are all very clearly the same franchise. It's not like if, like, the fucking 19... I remember this level because it sucks. Uh, look, it, <laughs> it's not like if, like, the 1980s Batman had a crossover with, like, Christopher... I mean, with, like, the, the classic Christopher Reeves Superman, you know? Like, that would be a crossover, because those movies were just franchises on their own, and, like, they weren't really a thing. Like, they didn't exist in the same universe. So, like, that would be fucking a crossover. But I, I, know, I know what you mean. But it's still a crossover. Uh, I, my favorite is the, the a lot of the Heisei pages I follow. They just share the fucking... Uh, legendary uh, anniversary crossover with every common rider and every Super Sentai. <laughs> and then like, oh yes, no, that's cute. Like, how many characters are in your thing? Like, thirty. Uh, this, uh, this is dumb. So we came here for what? Oh, uh, what reason was it that we came into that room? Uh, I don't know. I thought we were progressing. Uh, progressing this one. Oh no! Yeah! Ride the wall, Mark! Yeah! Ride the bitch. wall! Ride the lightning! Fuck Blaz The Lightning McQueen? Yeah, ride Lightning McQueen. Dude, so fucking there's a great line from uh Ben <laughs> Look at just slow. No! 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 There's a great line from a bad Simpsons episode where where Melhouse says that he's afraid of the cars from cars because they have teeth. But they they consist they, they survive off of gasoline. So why do they have teeth? It's true. What do they need the teeth for, Tim? <laughs> Fuck this level. I hate this level. Do we have to play this level? Do we have to do this one again? I mean, yes. Can we just do one of the levels we unlock from beating the game instead? Mark. I hate this. This is so fucking lame. Fine. You can do it, Mark. Ah, right, here we go. We. Here we go. We are sitting in on. Cinemon is the winner. Oh, toss me. Oh, I have you, sorry about that. So good. Yeah, good shit, dude. Yeah. Jump! Yeah, bitch! Woo! That worked out super well. Yeah, it's over. Oh, fuck, sorry. <laughs> Yay. Trusted you. Yeah. Ooh. Oh boy, air currents going on. Whoa. No, I don't want to get shot. Anything but that. Shot. Ah. Uh, oh, I picked the wrong path. It had Gordos. Oh no, my path had Gordos. I'm coming here. Yeah, I was like, because you can't grab that horrible man. You think with the bomb. What? You think with the bomb. I think you've done more iterations of where the bomb puns than like any human ever, and I don't think I've laughed once. No. I love you to death, but that you, shit literally. You've never kills. laughed you've never laughed once and I've never expect the laughter. <laughs> Look, certain puns, I do not make them for people to laugh at them. I make them to see the pain flow through someone's soul yeah. as they realize I made the same bad pun over and over again. I know, it's it's quite it's quite a feat. Hooray. We did the thing. Oh, that's all that. Da -na -na -na. Yeah. <laughs> so I just said no, I just saw you sitting there like that. I just thought about fucking doing like just dropping my leg down and kicking you in the balls. <laughs> Dude, what the fuck? <laughs> Um, it's Cloud Palace and Castle DDD, right? 
No, dude, Castle DDD is an extra level, see? Oh, no, no there's no, a no, thing no. of... Oh, wait, shit. Already. Okay, so then, yeah, I guess Cloud Palace, I don't know. And then after that, then we fight, uh, Yin Yarn. Yin Yarn Yu. I, I didn't realize that was the name of the final... Enemy. Yin Yarn? Yin Yarn, yeah. What, is he like Yin Yang? Like, I don't get it. I don't know. Okay, you don't have to fucking talk to me like I'm an asshole. No, I'm saying I just like, don't fucking know. You're like, know. I don't fucking know, Mark. Why don't you ask the game designers, you piece of shit? <laughs> no! Don't worry, I bubbled. <laughs> but wasn't that dramatic? It was pretty dramatic. I fucking... I, I'm really honest. I'm glad we finished Kirby. <laughs> Why? Are, are, you, are you so like not into no, this? No, it's not that I'm not into this. It's just you grabbing me is like one of the just the fucking most viscerally like, uh, like not frustrating, not like upsetting. It's just like oh, I was trying to do something, but I guess not because. Oh, you know, so you mean like Dave constantly doing to me and Mario? He didn't turn you into a ball. He picked you me up when I was trying to do stuff. Pick you up! Woo! <laughs> You fat bitch! You fat bitch! <laughs> why, why, why am I always a fat bitch? Can you please explain this to me, dude? It's from an episode of Always Sunny where Dennis and, and Mac move to the suburbs and Dennis hates traffic and when he's stuck in traffic he's like, You fat bitch! You fat bitch! Is that really what that's from? Yeah. So maybe someone... Cracko! Oh, that's right. I remember I saying I like this, that, that they turned Cracko and, like, a bunch of, like, the classic bosses, instead of fighting them the same way we have for, like, 80 fucking years, they, they, they like, introduced them in new and creative ways into the stage. Like, he's a fucking hazard. Oh, fuck you, Cracko. I forgot how to run. I know it's double tap the, the thing, but sometimes it don't happen. Whee. I like our... <laughs> I'm so sorry! <laughs> it's okay! Oh no! Mark, you killed me! Yeah. Yeah. No, I'm not gonna kill you back. Even if I had the option. Even if I had the power. The power that is rightly mine! Oh! I don't know why I keep expecting this level to not be in the sky. <laughs> I'm like, oh my god, suddenly there's no floor! <laughs> Butterflies oh. in the sky. I can go twice as high. Oh, Fucking come on. Oh, fucking shitty ass. Wow. <laughs> I hate this. This is the worst. Oh my fuck. Who came up with this shit? <laughs> I can't do it! I can't! Okay. Okay, wait, jump, Mario, jump! I have a plan. I have a plan. No, I can do it! You fat bitch! You fat <laughs> bitch! You just told me you couldn't do it! I fucking was doing a bit. No, I see, I could have done it before, but you ruined it. There we go, I did it. No yeah. thanks to you. You literally jumped off my head, you <laughs> fucking sack of. Fecal matter. Oh yeah, good one. Oh yeah, it's time for shmups, baby. Woo! Can I just hold it? I can't do it. Do a shmup. Yeah, I'm a shmup. I feel like a shmup is like something people actually call people. A shmup is something people call people. Maybe that's what I'm thinking of. You're thinking of shmup. Schmuckers. Schmuckers pancakes. Schmuckers fuckers. So some person was trying to tell, I forget who it was, but I remember it being like truly disgusted by them. was trying to tell me that those, uh, those smuckers, like, things where it's like peanut butter. <laughs> like peanut butter and jelly, but like in a little bread thing. You know what I'm talking about? Mm -hmm. Yeah, that, oh, I think it was Dave. He was trying to tell me that that is ravioli. By, by all definitions of ravioli, I'm like, no, it's fucking not. And he's like, how is it not ravioli? I'm like, it's fucking not made of goddamn noodles, and it's, it doesn't have regatta in it. Like, it's not ravioli. And he's got baked ravioli. He's like, so it's on baked ravioli. I'm like, did you not hear the other fucking parts? I think it was Dave. I don't know. It sounds like something Dave would try to argue with me. It, it's very much something. Oh my god. You know those Smucker's fuckables? You know them? I never liked those. They're gross. 
I know plenty of people who either like them or tolerate them because of hunger. I mean, I'll tolerate almost anything if I'm hungry enough, I guess. Like, you tolerate people so much. Yeah, like... I'll eat Papa shit fuck <laughs> if I'm hungry enough, you know? Yeah. Yeah. Fucking, you know how Papa John is like a real guy? Yeah. Is there like an actual, like, uh, Jimmy John's? The Jimmy John's? I don't know. So fucking, I like Jimmy John's, but I can't eat Jimmy John's anymore because the owner of Jimmy John's is a goddamn psychopath idiot. Psychopath idiot? He hates animals and he hunts them and shit. And like, whatever. I'm like, you know, I was like, he hunts animals and shit that's fucked up, but I, they make a good sandwich. It's fresh. And the employees, they're good people. Like, I shouldn't take it out on them. I, I can still eat here. And they posted a picture of his gross, fat, naked body laying on top of a dead shark. And I'm like... Nope, you're dead. I, I, I can never eat Jimmy John's again. I can't support anything this man created because this guy is a piece of shit. Who takes a picture of their gross fat body laying naked on a shark they just killed? I don't know. What the fuck? And also, I'm pretty sure fucking shooting a shark with a harpoon doesn't show that you're stronger than it, asshole. Like, I don't get that. Like, hunters are like, yeah, I killed an elephant with guns. I'm like, wow, good for you. You know what would have been more impressive if you used your fucking bare hands or if you saved an animal that was endangered, you piece of shit? It's like, I don't understand the appeal of hunting. I never have. I understand. Okay, I kind of understand the appeal of hunting. Because, like, oh, yes, yeah, like matching my wits against those of nature. And, like, at the end of the day, it's like still instinctual shit to, like, hunt and gather stuff that's programmed into our DNA. So like, it's like, oh yes, we are strong, we are great, you are great, I am great. And, but like, like I don't get people, it's like, oh yes, a, a very dangerous game, the, the rhinoceros. I'm like, no, it's a fucking gentle herbivore that, that there's like 20 left on the planet. Maybe they'll be a piece of shit and kill them. Thank you for that. I feel like we're not being funny. I feel like I'm just complaining about social problems. A little bit. <laughs> but like, if I can, like, I just, I'm sorry, man. It's just, so good, it's so good. Like, I love Kirby, and this game's cute, and it's kind of fun, but like... But we had our fill of it. Yeah, but like, I did this level already. Like, I'm looking at this, and I'm like, oh boy. We, we. Okay, this is good. <laughs> Wee! At least we get to re-experience good levels. I guess, like, I don't know, I, I remember these later levels kind of being where, like, I, 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 um, kind of lost my love for the levels, you know? Because, like, yeah, it's just kind of more the same stuff, only, like, I swear to God, if we have to do a train thing, I'm quitting. I don't think so. Okay, good, because the train thing's the worst. Yeah, oh. the trains were bad. The trains were bad. Good, we got Castle Hat. Go to the castle. I tried to, but it didn't stop. Can't stop, won't stop, chick chicken teleport. Get down, baby. Get down. I wanna fucking girls and hear girls and love Please us. stop talking. <laughs> I don't think I've ever heard something you said like hurt me more. <laughs> Then, you know that's an actual song, bro. I know it is, but like your melodramatic. <laughs> no, I mean your fucking your your non plus delivery of it. Yeah. it just got to kill me. I'm gonna kill you. <laughs> that was yeah. That was me. That was. Me. <laughs> Daddy, help. <laughs> oh God. <laughs> You like to pick up and burp while laughing, so it was like a it was a terrible squeal. Come on, come on. Oh, help me, I'm dying. Did somebody put me on my oh, misery? Penis. I do like my penis in your pussy. Please. Fuck this shit! <laughs> I'm fucking done! <laughs> Get out of my way, you fat <laughs> <laughs> It's disgusting! I can't! It's 
the dick of the No! I wanna kill them! I wanna taste their blood! <laughs> <laughs> Mark, why do you wanna taste the blood of your gun? They need to feel the They're pain! They're yarn! They're cutie! Oh, dude, look at this shit. When you throw them, they disperse in like six things. Three, I can do math. I fucking did it. What'd you do today? You fucking fed. <laughs> like, catch with myself. Oh my god. Yeah, I bet you think you're real cool because of that. Yes, yeah. I do actually. Oh, we got that already, I guess. The fucking creepy ass team DVD pictures. Team DDD? I said King. <laughs> you said Team DDD. Yeah. Team DDD is like Teen Wolf. <laughs> Just the. <laughs> Dude, <laughs> He becomes DDD to, to get girls and be good at basketball and secret, to secretly be a racist movie about how black people took over sports and how white people with good fundamentals can beat them at the end of the day. That's not true. Oh, baby, fucking watch Teen Wolf with the idea that instead of Wolf, he's black. No, seriously. Also, there's a part in Teen Wolf. I don't know. I probably have said this in one of our places, but I think it's so funny. There's a part <laughs> <laughs> it's a part of Teen Wolf, the movie, not the show. Because I do have to specify that. And and, and the show has isn't uh, that like some weird racial commentary. But fucking uh <laughs> Sorry, it's so funny. <laughs> so first I was broken with laughter, and now you Yeah, because I'm thinking about this part of Teen Wolf but like at the end when they win and they're all celebrating what? and shit. So cute! Let's go over it. You monster! <laughs> you fucking murderer! Bitch. No! Yeah, no. bitch. Please. I don't want to be your next victim. I, I like murder too, see? Good. Get the fuck out of my way. So, so the, when they win the game, and it shows, <laughs> it shows the crowd reacting, and they're all real happy and shit, right? In the crowd, you can see a dude with his cock <laughs> This is all penis and balls. Bullshit. <laughs> look it up, man. I don't wanna. <laughs> Why would I willingly really look something like that up, Mark? It's like at the top of the, the screen, so like fucking like you don't you don't you don't if you're not looking for it, it's easily missable, hence why the sense is missed. <laughs> I'm gonna kill you! I remember this room. <laughs> I am victorious, Mark. Oh, oh, oh. Dude, just fucking. <laughs> <laughs> the fact that that's what we talk about. Right <laughs> yeah, now. Fucking Teen Wolf Dick is so funny. Teen Wolf Dick. Is so funny. <laughs> you know, I've heard strange things come out of your mouth in my lifetime, Mark. Tim, what do you think? Uh, what do you think? Uh, werewolf's penis is like man penis or dog penis? Why do you care? No, it's just something everyone thinks of the werewolf's penis in a different way. I don't like, no, I've never actually sat and thought about that. Tim, don't tell me you never thought about oh, a no, werewolf we in yours. What? I can't hear you ever going to Watermelon Mark, Land. what the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> Why are we in Watermelon Land, dude? Because I want to see it. You made me play three levels I didn't like. Mark, we're just trying to fit, re-beat the game. Look, this is going to be so much fun if we're trains, I'm sorry. Oh, see, look, it's fast. Uh, am I in control? I don't know. Yay, I'm in control. I'm the man. I'm the cheese. Yeah, fuck rocks. Woo! This is fun, C Tim. This is fun. This is post game content, Mark. No, it's not. We've yes, done this before, Yin Yarn. No, we got this from getting the Yin from beating Yin Yarn. We got the patch from beating Yin Yarn, Mark. <laughs> nope. <laughs> Mark, we're just fire no, trucks! No, because I know for a fact that we were gonna do a medley of every single transformation. <laughs> and, and no, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not doing trains! <laughs> Even if there's a possibility of trains, I'm not doing it. Oh my god. Where do we go? Well, we beat Castle DDD already, right? Yes, yes. So then, where's Yin Yarn? Yin Yarn. Where's, where's Chin Chin? Mark. Yinyar is right down here. I, I don't know what's going on. Why are we floating? No, it's not. Up. Up. 
Oh, the Satan hole? Yes, the Satan hole is yin yarn. Okay, here it goes, guys. We totally never before seen boss fight. Tim and Mark fighting yin yarn. We totally never done this before, Was right? Was there a cutscene before this boss fight? Um. Let's see if Macarena's. That's right, it's a like a medley thing. Here's the dragon. That might have been a cutscene. Oh, cutscene, slut scene. Better than a slut scene. Better than a fucking. <laughs> Better than a snuff scene. Better than a love scene. I was gonna say, I don't know, dude. Are there something about, about losing control of your body as someone grabs you that is just so. Irredeemably frustrating. Some people find that sexy. Shut up. I knew a girl like that once. I don't get it. I mean, I oblige, but I don't get it. Can I grab your tongue or something? Yes, yes. The stick is tongue. Go on, bitch. That was nice to me, sorry. Of course. What now, Yin Yang? Oh yeah, that's right, this shit's creative as hell. More boss fights should have done stuff like this. I agree. Ooh. Hello. Now, <laughs> yes. Oh no. Mark, like, we already got the goal on this. I know, but I fell. Oh, that's right, you can go out, you have to go out the window. See? Remember? Yeah, I remember I just fell. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, Timmy, you getting fucking tired from this riveting gameplay? Huh? What? Sorry, I couldn't hear you over the sound of a fight that we've never done before. Wow. Fucking no sound for Yin Yarn from his only appearance. Motherfucker, why the fuck should we sell, what should we sell this fight? Look, we already know our opinions of this boss fight. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty fucking non- We were so non plus. like, here's the thing, like, this this medley part's kind of cool, but, like, at the end of the day, this boss fight leaves you feeling shallow and put it down here, please. Thank you. Got him. Get the fuck out of my way. It's like, this isn't a bad boss fight? It's just it's not a good final boss fight. Like, yeah. if we did this and then there was, like, a true final boss, like, I'd, I'd be, be like, so much happier. Yeah, I'd be like, oh, shit, yeah. Maybe there is a true final boss and we're just too dumb to look for it. There is. Did you check? Yeah. Did you really? Yeah. Well, it was like the next day you were like, this I couldn't was, have been a final boss. Yeah. Me and Tim had to have fucked that. Yeah, like, I mean, did, did we get, like, a secret boss, like, in Kirby with Crystal Shards? This is it. Okay, I uh, Okay, Lala well, Dave. I'm sorry, but you must. You must. Damn, slow. Damn, Yin Yarn getting fucked. Yeah, get it's it. as if they've done this type of aesthetic aesthetic with a boss before. Dude, he's getting fucked like 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 a 16-year-old girl on prom night, you know what I'm saying, baby? I never fucked my 16-year-old girlfriend. I never fucked my 16-year-old girlfriend. The wording it makes it sound like you have a 16-year-old girlfriend right now. Oh my you and I, we have to hit him with the snowman. Oh, uh, keep stomping. No, get the snowman. Get the snowman. You piece of shit. I'm pizza? <laughs> pizza shit. Um, pizza hut, okay. I guess it could be worse. It could be Domino's. It could be Papa John's. That's true. Oh, see, look, we won. It's over. This ending boss fight is so fucking flaccid. <laughs> I'm sorry! <laughs> this boss fight is so fucking flaccid! It's <laughs> it's so funny because he fucking Oh that's right, he has a, another form. Oh yeah, that's right. Guess what? It's still flaccid though! Oh, yeah, it sucks because we just grow big and punch his penis or something, right? Yes! We we literally go we literally Why is he so Mexican themed? Oh hey, night. <laughs> 
Like he's like a big sombrero and like racist caricature. I don't know. I don't know you, but just. But fuck, it's so funny because like this whole playthrough, <laughs> we're like, we're like, yeah, so cute and blah blah blah. And, then, like, and them. this final episode, we're so jaded and like tired of shit. We're like, fuck this. It's like I don't. I'm not even jaded. Like I like. I genuinely like this game, but it's like. I'm just mad at the. I can't stop so it. <laughs> <laughs> Mark, what are you even doing? I'm losing the fist! Cause I have to dump this shit! You fucking shitty ass fist of the North Star motherfucker! He's already he, dead! He just doesn't know it yet! Like, what am I supposed to do with this? I can't reach him! There. Hey! Why didn't you say something? Because I, mean, I don't care, you don't care! Like, oh, this is such a hard boss fight, Mark! As we fucking physically abused the shit yeah, out of this as, poor as Mexican- As the game slows down as he spits out crystals and we fuck his skull. Look, we still managed to get gold. How? <laughs> How? What? I can rocket fist? Can you? Yeah, hold on. Oh, we can't attack anymore. Okay, good. So, like, was Yinyon not real and these guys were sentient? Maybe. Well, they're dead now. They're not dead. They just. Trevor just throw them back to the fucking world. There's, that's Pop Star that's turned into Yarn, dude. No, that's a different world. That's Prince Plus Whoa. World. No, it's Prince not. Prince Plus World and Pop Star are two different places. Things were getting sucked from Kirby's world to Prince Fluff as well. Oh, Fluff whatever, man. <laughs> it sucked my dick. Look, the lore of this game isn't that good. <laughs> it's look, look how happy Prince Fluff is. Yeah, dude. That, that's like Mark if we're talking about like a good Marvel movie. I <laughs> And me, I'm like... You, you mean like two of them? <laughs> exactly. Oh, man. With Yin Yarn's spell broken, but, uh, return to its normal yeah, state of peace end? and quiet. Ah, oh, shit. Oh, no, there's no credit scroll. I mean, look at these credits that totally appeared on their own and weren't no, edited dude, in. No, dude, we have to watch him die, and oh. then we have to eat. Oh, yeah, that's right. Um, uh, and Kirby was happy, and Prince Fuck Fluff gave Kirby. him a sock to remember him. <laughs> and. <laughs> What? <laughs> the best part is you're not making this up. Like, the, it sounds like you are. You're like, oh yeah. <laughs> like, like the last page of your kid's nursery book is like missing, and you're like, oh yeah. And then uh, Pr Prince Fluff went home, and he uh, he gave Kirby a sock, and uh, yeah. You turned like PJ for half a second, man. Oh man, and then uh, you know, he got a sock, and uh, Max uh, fucked my mom, and uh, Max, how I did Max? Is that why? Your mom and dad got a divorce, Max. Yeah, because Max fucked their brains out, and then and then Pistol died in a car accident. So like, you know, Peg was never the same. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? What the <laughs> actual fuck? Uh -huh. No, no. Okay, <laughs> you must be punished for your transgressions, Mark. Yeah, try and catch me, bitch. Oh wait, you can't because we're watching the credits right now, motherfucker. <laughs> Sure we are. Sure we are. Assuming that wasn't lazy and actually edited them in. Uh, so Mark, how do you feel about this game? I like this game a lot, but coming back to it, there's not much of an appeal. Like, you play through it once, you have a good time. Like, maybe, like, if it's something like you play, like, 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 with, like, like a year in between or something, like, coming back to this, it'd be more fun, but, like... Yeah. It's like, like we beat the final boss and we came back and we played some levels and I didn't have any fun. <laughs> like, and that sounds fucked up because this game is a blast. It is. It's cute. It's charming. The controls are great. And there's some really creative ideas, but it's just, you know, it is I, what it is. So I really hate to put it this way. I feel like this game is a game that after your first playthrough going, yeah, this game's all right. You only really pull it out when you play it with that girlfriend who's not into video games but wants to spend time with you and she, she'll think it's cute and you'll have a good time. And she can't lose. Exactly. And you can just be a bit of a dick and just be like, hey, and just throw her places. I mean, Tim, now we're just talking about an abusive relationship. <laughs> no. Go, hey, and you throw her places. Hey, <laughs> throw, throw her up. Oh. So yeah, dude, that was Kirby and the Epic Yawn. Yeah. On a scale of 1 to 10, Mark, what do you rate it? I don't know, like a 7. Yeah, I'd say about the same. 
Yeah, like, because there's no real challenge to the game. It's, it's not just, a bad game. No, it's not bad. It's fun, it's cute, it's creative. Like, those are three things that, like, are really good to have, especially for a Kirby game. But there's no real challenge unless you're trying to metal everything. But even then, I don't think there's much of a reward. And, like, some of the rewards are more levels, but some of the later levels aren't fun. Like, yeah, Mark, want to be a train? Choo choo! No. <laughs> choo yeah, like, choo! Like, hey, I, you, did you like being a train? I'm like, no, I fucking hated that. They're like, well, here's a whole train level. I'm like, no, that's the opposite of what I wanted. Ugh. Yeah, this game's not a bad game. This game is fun. It has its flaws. It could be better. And I probably won't touch it. Uh, yeah, and we, we had a good time playing it together. But, you know, it's not really something I'd come back to. This is a game I bought for the express purpose of playing with Mark. Yeah. But I feel bad that it's ending on such a jaded, somber note. Like, because, like, most of this playthrough we're having a good time and it's fun. And that reflects, uh, our personalities reflect that because of the gameplay. Like, it puts us in a good mood. There's yeah, no, like, this game made me super happy. I feel like this game is fucking good. Look at this fucking Kirby. You're looking at the credits. Yeah, I was going to say. Look at the. Hold on. Even Dad and I reserved a room. Oh, Allie's wedding. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Uh, your mom texted. Yeah, yeah. I, I was gonna say I forgot that. Oh my god, is my cousin getting married this weekend? There's just too much shit going on. <laughs> is your cousin getting married this weekend? I don't know. I think she might be. Anyway, Kirby. Uh -oh. <laughs> but yeah, no, this this game's fun. Yeah, it's cute, cute, fun, fun, and cute. Look at this defying physics ass shit I'm doing. Yeah, dude, that's how balls work. Remember, ladies, if his balls are swinging like this, it means they work. <laughs> if your man can't defy gravity with his balls, then get a new one. I don't hate this game. I don't <laughs> even... Because it's here's the thing. It's like, if you listen to how I'm talking about this game, it sounds like I am I hate this game. I'm disgusted by it. And I'm not. It's a, here's the problem. is We got off of a... Very odd session of recording today. We did. It started off weird. It it, 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 it ended weird, and then we had to re-record something we already did. That's cute, but we were in a mad mood. So like, it's just, it's odd. It's odd. Yeah. This game. This game is cute though. Yeah. If you like cute things, or you have children, get the game. Or you like Kirby, definitely. Hi. Yeah, it's great for a Kirby collection. Even if you can't absorb powers, it's, uh, it's a yeah. fun alternative. It this this is really porn fluffs game. Yeah, porn fluffs game. Oh god, no. <laughs> All right, we're done. Bye. We're done here. Yeah. Dreamland. <laughs>